Hi, I'm Miss Watson, and I'll be giving an overview of additional maths, which is a course we offer for the benefits of our top achieving pupils here at Fairfield High. It's not a GCSE, it is a freestanding maths qualification, which is equivalent to the first year of study at A level. So it's considered to be more challenging than your standard GCSE maths as a qualification which can help to set you apart from the perspective of employers, as well as for college and sixth form applications. Lessons are outside of normal timetabled hours with one lesson per week after school. One of the most common questions we get is whether or not our pupils are able to take additional maths as well as triple science, and lots do because they're scheduled on different days. We would expect pupils applying for this course to already be accessing the more challenging content within normal maths lessons and to be targeting a grade seven through to nine for GCSE. If you are unsure if this applies to you, please do ask your maths teacher. This overview of the course shows the main topics which we would cover over the two years. There's only one exam with no coursework and it's usually one of the last scheduled exams. So there are no clashes with your other subjects during exam season. Here you'll see listed some of the subtopics which are generally seen as the more challenging topics within GCSE. By taking additional maths, you gain a greater level of exposure to these topics and get the chance to study them in greater depth. So not only would you be working towards gaining another qualification, you're also increasing the likelihood of securing a top grade eight or nine at GCSE. Listed here are the topics which might be completely new to you. These help to bridge the gap between GCSE and A-level, meaning that you're firstly more likely to be accepted onto an A-level maths course, and secondly, that the first year of A-level will seem that much easier, having already covered much of the first year content. There's also a lot of overlap with physics and engineering, so even if you're not currently considering studying maths at A-level, it can be beneficial in supporting applications for other courses. So by studying additional maths, you improve your chances of receiving a top GCSE grade, it is excellent preparation for A-level study, it will impress employers and boost college applications, you also gain UCAS points, which are used when applying to university. We run two classes each year, and these will generally be with your normal math subject teacher where possible. This means that there are 64 places available, and these are allocated based on an average taken from each end of term assessment, combined with your end of year assessments. We often get asked, what percentage do I need to get? But there is no cutoff point or target. We just want to make sure that you're confident enough with standard GCSC maths to be able to access the more challenging content offered through additional maths. If you have any questions, please do speak to your maths teacher. We have textbooks and exam papers which you can have a look through and we can help you decide whether or not additional maths will be right for you. Thanks for listening.